So we've had multiple banger cards this year and I'm just thinking like, how are we gonna get any better? Oh yeah, they brought the best fighter of all time back. That is right. In this video, me and Angel are gonna be giving you guys our winners for UFC 285. And yes, this is the return of John Jones, the greatest fighter to ever step into the octagon. Start this off, honorable mention to my guy, Ian Gary. He will be on this card as well in the early prelims. And my man is undefeated and is a very hot welterweight right now. Along with that, Cody Garbrandt will be taking on Trevin Jones in this fight card, and I would put a pick on it, but it's kind of so up in the air. I feel like Cody could get the finish along with Trevin Jones, so I'm just not going to put y'all through that hassle just in case y'all got parlays. Okay. But to start my picks, we got Drickus Duplessis taking on Derek Brunson. I think this is great matchmaking. Although Derek Brunson is old, he still is a great contender and wants his title shot. Against a guy like Drickus Duplessis, you're gonna have a hard time. This dude is a walking piece of muscle and he is great on the ground along with some, I don't know, pretty amateur striking. But I mean, look at Derek Brunson striking. I think Derek Brunson is just over the hill right now, guys. And I don't see him finishing Drickus Duplessis like at all. I got Drickus Duplessis, whether it's decision or by TKO. He's just stronger, faster, younger, and I just think he wants it more. Jumping into the main event, to kick it off, we got Jalen Turner taking on, I want to say Mateus Gamera, but it doesn't matter. This fight right here is going to be a banger. Jalen Turner has been looking great in his recent outings. He just defeated Jamie Malarkey along with Israel Adesanya's boy. And Mateus, or Matus, whatever, I think he looks good too. I mean, he did get dropped against a Benil Dariush. That looked bad, but he is super good at wrestling. I did not know he was that good at wrestling. And he will attempt takedowns, and I think that's very scary for a guy like Jalen Turner. Although Jalen Turner has improved, man, this is, a, this is a tough one for me. I think Matus can take him down to the ground. Now, when he gets on the ground, I'm not sure if he can finish Jalen. He is good on the ground, but Jalen has been through some nice storms, and I'm pretty sure he has upped his skill level. He's faster on the feet. He's got better hands. He has a huge reach advantage against a guy like Matus. I think I'm going to have to go Jalen Turner first or second round KO. Now, moving into one of the most anticipated fights for me, Bo Nickel taking on Jamie Pickett. Let me give you guys some background on this. Jamie Pickett, the winner of, I, th I think he won Dana White Contender Series. He may have lost, but he's came from Dana White Contender Series and he's looked very good in the UFC. He's very quick. He's very strong. His striking is, it, it is there. It's not the best, but it is there and he lets his hands fly. Uh, Bo Nickel, on the other hand, is a Dana White Contender Series winner and he is phenomenal at wrestling. wrestling. Like this dude, dead ass. I think, he, I'm not sure if he won gold in the Olympics, but he has, he has some nominee or accolade for wrestling and I've seen footage on him. This dude is a monster at wrestling. Not only is he a monster at wrestling, he lets his hands go. Like, especially, you know, like the wrestlers overhand, he's literally knocked people out cold with that. And he's very young. I'm super excited for this guy. This is his, is this his first fight in the UFC guys? I think this is his first fight in the UFC versus a guy who has fought UFC competition already. This is very high stakes for him, but I think he can pull it out, boys. I got Bo Nickel, whether it's by decision or fit. Now, another sleeper fight. Like, bro, if you're not even an MMA fan, you don't know who these people are. But if you are an MMA fan, you guys are stoked for this. And that is Jeff Neal versus Shavkat Rachmanov. Those names might not ring a bell, but Jeff Neal on one hand, a very good veteran who just beat a guy who has never been finished, Vicente Luque. He looked so good in that fight, Jeff Neal did. He's taking on a 17-0 with 100% finish rate in the welterweight division. I said that a little wrong. This fight right here, I am super excited for because if Shavkat beats Jeff Neal, I mean, either he's fighting a number one contender or he's fighting for the belt. The dude's 17 and 0 with a 100% finish rate. He's finished everybody, obviously. And against a guy like Jeff Neal, this is going to be a very tough test. 
But man, if anybody's seen Shavkat versus Neil Magny, you know how good Shavkat is. He ragged on Neil Magny. And honestly, I see him defeating Jeff Neal. Jeff Neal has a great left hand that can knock anybody out. But Shavkat has looked so slick, so fast, so clean. I've never seen somebody move like him, bro. And he's so humble. I think Shavkat gets it done by finish, boys. I think he's going to keep that 100% moving into the co-main event. Don't be mad at me, boys. But I think this is a weak co-main event for this fight. But Valentina Shevchenko versus Alexa Grasso. I mean, Valentina should be having her own main event. She has five title defenses she's been pound for pound for the last six five five years whatever it is she's great i don't know why we're throwing her on the undercard to john jones versus surreal gone you know I, I i don't get it but that's okay anyways it's still gonna be a great fight i honestly have never watched alexa grasso fight before i hear her name buzzing in the ufc media so she has to be somewhat decent but if anybody watches Shevchenko, man, she she's just so far ahead of the rest of the girls. I mean, her last fight, I don't know why they didn't do a rematch on that because she literally almost lost that fight. But that's another video. You know, she is just very good, bro. Like, even when she's in tough position, she is straight faced. She is focused. She's getting out of those sooner or later, you know, and her striking is very good. I mean, everybody just search of Valentina Shevchenko. Her striking is very good. And I, once again, I think she's going to pad onto her legacy and this is going to be another title defense for her. Whether it's by decision or finish. Now, moving into the main event. Let me just say this right now. There's no decision for this fight, boys. Someone's going to sleep. God, please, no! 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 In one corner, we have a heavyweight who moves like a middleweight. Probably the best strike in the heavyweight divisions literally ever seen in its entire existence. Surreal Khan. Man, this dude is a monster. Although Surreal Khan is one in one going into this fight, I'm going to make a lot of you angry here. Surreal Khan beat Francis Ngannou. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why he's fighting for. Okay, anyways. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Surreal Gan, don't look at his record and think, oh, this dude just lost a fight before his last fight. Uh, no, bro. This is a real deal heavyweight. His bones are built for it. His muscles are built for it. He's not taking years to put on muscle to get to this division. He's born into this division, and he is super good. But taking on a guy 26-1 and one, should be 27-0, and 0, John Bones Jones. That is the buggy man, bro. Like, I'm telling you, this dude is disgusting. Everyone watching this video literally knows who I'm talking about. That's the crazy. That's how good he is. He's just built different. And he doesn't talk the shit. He, he just dominates. His brother is a, what, like a defensive end? Chandler Jones, bro? That's a dude. That's an MVP caliber football player, bro. This dude is just built different. And I love this fight matchmaking. I think I think it's great, but I think John Jones has seen this before, guys. I, he's already faced guys who are quick at light heavyweight. He's faced guys who have crafty striking at light heavyweight. And sure, I would say Surogan is a one of one, but dude, John Jones is just so good, bro. Especially when he gets in the cage, he has undoubtedly the best fight IQ of all time. And I've seen the the vlog episodes. The dude is massive. And if he wants to wrestle, we know it's over there. You see Francis, a guy who had barely learned to wrestle in the UFC, takes Surreal Gun easily. John Jones is eating that up for breakfast in the wrestling. But also, I think John Jones can strike with Surreal. Now, before I get ahead of myself, I wouldn't be surprised if Surreal laid some nice hits on John Jones. But I think John Jones has weathered a lot of storms. Yes, his last fight against Dominic Reyes a couple years ago was rough. But I think with the layoff and the time that he's had to train and put on muscle and just evaluate himself, I think he's going to come back a monster at heavyweight. I see him finishing Surreal Gone in the second, third, or fourth round. As always, bro, drop a like. It's free. I'll...